hi everyone and today at Tabjo I'm gonna talk to you about mm, it's a game for five years and up it's a game from one to six player it's a cooperative game where we have to get all the food before the cat crosses the kitchen so I'm gonna explain how it plays and tell you what I think right after So the game mm, come with a board with two sided. So this side is the harder side with two paws, like you can see. And this one is the simpler side with one paw. It comes with a cat and we're gonna put it here. This cat is advancing like this throughout the kitchen. And the goal is for him to reach here, but for us to beat the cat to it. It comes with mouse uh, coins here and dice. The dice are bread carrot, cheese, cucumber, and we have an X sign, and I'm gonna explain it to you right away. So the goal is to complete entirely the board with all the chips. And to do so, I'm gonna roll, and we have no choice to put one die per turn. If we don't put it, the cat advance. So in this case, let's say I want to make the fish. I will put a die on the fish here, and I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna put my second die on the fish. So this means uh, automatically when we are completing one, one uh, food item that the cat is not moving. So it's our choice if we want to advance another food item or continue to roll. Me, I'm gonna advance it here and then we're gonna replace the dice with the mouse pieces like that. I turn again or the other player turns so he can decide to advance, let's say this. He can put two dice at the same time, or he can decide to roll again. So even if we have an X, the important is we put one die at a time, each turn, I mean, and then we can re-roll. We have a fish and a cheese. That's risky. Let's put the cheese here. Last turn, we have a cucumber. Unfortunately, we didn't finish any food item, so the cat will advance. We play again. And since it's a cooperative game, we can discuss, okay, what about if you advance this one? Or what if you try the cheese one? Let's try the cheese. We roll. We have a fish and a carrot. Let's try to advance the carrot here. So we need to roll or a cheese or a carrot in order to win. And we have a cucumber. Unfortunately, we didn't finish any food items. The cat is still going on. We are lucky because we can put one die on the, on the board. And this is the first rule. We have to put at least one die on the on it, the second die here, we absolutely need a fish. And we don't have a fish, the cat advance on the board. So we have the choice to put one or two or three die at the same time. Let's say I want to make the cheese here and the cucumber here, but this means I need to roll or a cheese or a cucumber. So it's risky. I can put only one and then roll the two. I have another cheese, that's good, that means the cat will not advance, and then I can put the carrots here to progress on my carrot. And we replace with the mouse coin. And we continue rolling. We have a carrot, we know we finished the carrot here, we are safe, the cat will not advance. We have another carrot and a cucumber. Let's advance the cucumber here and let's advance the carrot here. Since we are safe here, it's better if we progress on other items that are bigger. We have two bread, so we can finish the bread here and we can put the carrot to advance. So it's our choice to put one, two or three die at the same time. We replace, etc. So the goal for us is to complete the entire board without the cat reaching the end of the kitchen. If you want to make it a little harder for you, you can play on the other side. If you see the food items are much, much longer. See here we have five, here we have four, another five here. So it's much more complex to do this side, but it's a challenge. 
So what I think about mm, the game, actually we really do love it. Uh, the board is incredible, the colors, the food item, very, very nice to look at. We really love the cat that is going through the kitchen and the small paws. It's really great, uh, just the component uh, for the kids is perfect. Uh, the small mouse on the, the, the chips here and the small cats going through the kitchen. Very, very nice component. The dice, everything is clear and simple. However, the, the, the difficulty here, I think it was for the kids to understand when we can take the, the, the food, when we cannot take it. So there was a little confusion at the beginning, but more and more we play games and more we did enjoy it. And when the kids understand the, the, the cooperation and that we can discuss which, which strategy is better than the other, then it went really well. Uh, we even play solo, so that was a great uh, game for just a solo player. Uh, we really did enjoy it. So I will recommend it to you, so go get it, have fun, and don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and i see you next time.